YouTube, what is good? So how many times have you seen a passive income video for photographers talking about presets, talking about YouTube channels, talking about affiliate marketing, talking about all this stuff that requires a large audience? Well, today we are gonna go over passive income strategies that photographers can use regardless of your audience size. I think this is a very important video for everyone out there who is trying to make money with their craft and maybe doesn't wanna invest all the time that's necessary into building a social media audience. Or maybe you just don't want to deal with social media in general. You hate the idea of not being true to yourself. This video is for the real artists out there and I hope it can help you out a little bit. Now, I want to make a disclaimer before I start this video. One, hit the thumbs up button. Two, Squarespace is sponsoring the video. We'll talk about them a little bit later. But the real disclaimer that I want to make is that passive income is never truly passive, okay? It does take some work on the front end or some work at some point. The idea of passive income means that you can make money with something that you've created while you're out doing other things. Essentially, you're in two places at once. This is not some magical formula. You're not just going to snap your fingers and have some passive income thing. You're going to have to spend time either figuring out a marketing strategy or figuring out a way to acquire your potential customers or just building the product or whatever it is you're doing in general. Also, I want to try something new today. While I'm talking, I'm going to show some photography behind the scenes from a recent trip that I did to a small town outside of Atlanta. It's one of my favorite locations to shoot. It's called Covington, Georgia. I thought it'd be cool to add a little bit of something extra to the video. So it's just not me blabbing the entire time. And those of you who follow me for photography can get some of that as well. And the first passive income thing that I want to just briefly mention, it's not part of this list, is presets. I sell my presets. And one thing that I did to make my presets stand out from other people is I created a preset module. You see, I never liked traditional presets. So I decided to try to solve a problem with presets and create essentially this modular system that allows me to create these YouTube videos, show the behind the scenes, and then you can see the exact formula that went into every single edit. So people can replicate my looks a lot better than me just saying, here's a one size fits all preset. So as you see the behind the scenes footage, the formulas are down in the bottom left corner and you can pick up that preset module at evanramp.com if you want to emulate those looks. But the reason I'm mentioning it in today's video is because one big piece of passive income is figuring out a way to provide value and change a potential problem that you see with whatever marketplace that you're in or whatever you're doing. So keep in mind as you're trying to come up with ways to make money, what are things that are missing in the world? What are things that are missing in the photography landscape, the photography business world? How can you solve problems that people people have. That is exactly what I did with this preset module. That's why I invented it to solve the problem and the things that I disliked about presets. So you can do the exact same thing regardless of what you're doing. It just makes passive income and figuring out business strategies a lot easier when you think in terms of what's missing and what problem can you solve. So the real number one on this list today is selling your gear. All right. And I'm not talking about just selling your gear on eBay or selling it on Craigslist. What I'm talking about is selling your gear in the form of rentals using a platform like ShareGrid. So ShareGrid is a platform out there that allows creatives to put their camera gear up on a marketplace so people can come and rent it from you. So let's say you're someone who does wedding photography, but occasionally you dabble in wedding videos. So for example purposes, let's say you do three photo shoots a month and one video shoot every single month. Typically, if you're like me and you don't have a share grid profile, your video equipment is just sitting in a Pelican case or sitting in your closet or your office collecting dust until that one week out of the month pops up. What you could be doing is having this gear on share grid. Maybe it's your cinema camera, maybe it's your gimbal and allow people to rent that piece of gear while you're doing your photography like you normally would. But renting out gear is a massively overlooked way to make money with your camera. I know my buddy Chris House, who now works at an agency out in San Diego. If you follow the videos for a long time, you know who that is. He tells me that he rents gear all the time from ShareGrid. Their agency might need a certain piece of gear for just one shoot that's one day long. Rather than spending the money to buy it, they'll go rent lights, they'll rent microphones, they rent all types of things from locals out there. So that could be you. If you're someone with a lot of gear, you've acquired a lot of gear, you just maybe like it, you can make some money off of it by renting it out. So number two is creating a print store. Now I'm not talking about creating a print store for your actual like 
photo artwork. Let's say you're someone like me who has an audience online. This makes sense. You can you know, sell your prints and people appreciate it as your art and they're gonna go ahead and buy it. What I'm talking about is creating an actual print store dedicated to a certain niche or a certain genre or a certain topic. Let's go ahead and use me once again as an example. I was doing Atlanta-based photography for years. I mean, all my photography from like 2014 to 2017 was photos around Atlanta. Now, in hindsight, what I could have done is create a website using a platform like Squarespace, who's the sponsor on today's video, to build a print store simply dedicated to Atlanta prints. It has nothing to do with me. It's not Evan Ramp. I don't have to build my name up. I just create a web store featuring all these unique different Atlanta photos. And you can set up services that drop ship these prints for you. So essentially, you build out the website, you attach the service to the website, and this allows you to get orders and the orders are fulfilled by someone other than you. All you have to do is build the site and take care of marketing, which is a prime example of what I mentioned earlier. You can't just snap your fingers and make passive income happen. You need to learn the necessary skills to build a website and you also need to learn the necessary skills to learn how to market a website and run ads so the people who are interested in Atlanta photography, per our example, are able to find your website. But if there's an audience out there for the type of photography that you're creating, you can consider creating a web store that drop ships your prints, not directly from you, the artist, but directly from the theme or the genre or the thing that they may be interested in. This is just a quick little mindset shift away from being an artist and more towards being a business person. So I'll go ahead and thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video right now. If you're someone who wants to build a website, Squarespace is hands down the easiest way to do it. They've been a part of my photography business for years now. And the reason I've stuck with them so long is because they're constantly adding new features to the site. One thing that I recently added to my site is a one-on-one -on -one coaching tab using the scheduling tools from Squarespace. Essentially, you can sign up for Squarespace scheduling, and then you can allow people to book your time on your website. So people can book a 30 minute or a 90 minute call with me directly through Squarespace. And Squarespace also helps me with my marketing. I have a tab on my website that I built that says free preset. People can go there, they put their email in, and they can get a free preset. And by getting those emails, now whenever I launch something, maybe once or twice a year, I now have this contact of people who are interested in the things that I'm doing. And also from that preset, I have a tutorial that mentions some of my other products, like the preset module and like my one-on-one -on -one coaching to potentially provide an upsell from that free signup that they get. Squarespace is hands down one of the most powerful tools that you can have at your disposal as a creator, but don't take my word for it. You can watch a tutorial that I linked down below on this channel where I break down exactly how I built my Squarespace site. And then you can go to squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp to start a free trial. Follow along with that video. And when you're ready to sign up, you can use code Evan Ramp to save 10%. That's squarespace.com slash Evan Ramp to start a free trial and use code Evan Ramp to save 10% on your first purchase with Squarespace. Big shout out to them for sponsoring today's video. So the third thing I want to talk about is educational material via Gumroad or Teachable. These are two websites that allow you to put courses and educational material up for people online. And one great thing about both these platforms is they are extremely searchable. So if you are a photographer out there who specializes in one thing, you know you're really good at one area of photography. And maybe you don't have a big social media following, but maybe you understand how to acquire commercial car photo shoot clients. Or maybe you understand how to do one specific thing in Photoshop very well. Maybe you understand masking. Or maybe you understand how to do bracketing and layers in Photoshop with landscape photography. That's something that I literally know nothing about. It doesn't matter what it is. Whatever skill you have, you can create a course or an educational piece of material on Gumroad or Teachable that allows people to search for that exact thing. You just need to start thinking in terms of what are people looking for that I have the answer to. So like I said, maybe it's someone searching, how do I find commercial photo clients? If you're someone who understands that and that's part of your business, you can easily create a course or a piece of teachable material online that allows people to get the answers they're looking for from an expert like you. Maybe you specialize in editing. Maybe you're a Lightroom expert. You can be someone who creates a Lightroom expert guide online. And if your landing page and your sales page is good enough, trust me, people are going to buy it. There are a lot of people out there looking for educational material and looking to learn from experts like you. So when it comes to passive income, you always want to frame your thoughts around where are my expertise and what can I teach people and what are people looking for? If you can answer all these questions, you're well on your way to creating a product that actually makes sales. Remember, identify who your customer is, identify what their problems are, and identify what skills you have that 
solve the problems for these people. And that leads me to the fourth thing I wanna talk about, which kind of parallels the last thing that I was going over. It once again hinges on you having some type of specialization somewhere, you identifying where your skills lie and where you can provide value to other people. So when it comes to photography, a lot of people think about digital products simply as presets. People think, oh, you can sell presets online and it's a digital download. But there are so many other ways that you can offer value to potential people out there via digital products. Once again, if you think about what you specialize in. So maybe you're someone who understands commercial photography contracts. Maybe you understand wedding photography contracts. Maybe you understand B&B &B, business to business type contracts. You can create digital products that teach people how to write these contracts. You can take your expertise and just boom, put it out there for someone to download either on your site or you can use something like Gumroad once again. Or maybe you're someone who has an amazing invoice template. Everyone compliments you on your invoices. They're like, damn, this invoice is easy to read. It's awesome. It's great. Maybe you can sell that on Gumroad. You can title it the perfect photography invoice or the invoice that every photographer needs. Expand your mind and start thinking, what are the things outside of your photography that you still understand and can provide value with? Maybe you're someone who understands accounting and you also do photography. You could potentially create a tax guide for people and just title it the ultimate tax guide for photographers. And once again, create a compelling good sales page and the people who are looking for that thing will find you. Once again, just like the last example, identify the customer, identify the problem and identify the way that you can solve it. I don't really have much more to say about that one, but I wanted to make sure I included it on this list because I think so many photographers get hung up on digital products having to be a preset. They can be so much more than that. Maybe you're a graphic designer or you understand graphic design. You could create brush templates or brush tools for people to use on their iPad. You could create text templates if that's something you understand. There are so many possibilities for photographers out there. Just expand your mind and digital products are gonna be something that will make you money if they're solving a problem that people have. So number five on this list is kind of an honorable mention, but it is something that people should pay attention to going into the future. And that is social media subscriptions. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, a lot of photographers and people who are creatives are still working to build their social media platforms. They're trying to grow and a lot of times they feel trapped because they think they need a large audience to start making money with what they are doing. That is not the case if you are good at identifying a target market who is looking for the thing that you offer. So for example, let's say that you are a landscape photographer in, I don't know, Oregon. That's what you're known for. That's what you do. If you can identify people who are interested in this particular thing and create a product via Patreon, Twitter, YouTube that people are willing to subscribe to, you very well could start making some extra money every single month creating the social media content that you would create anyways. You're already trying to build a name for yourself. Now you can allow the people who understand you and understand what you're doing support you in a way that they weren't able to before. That's one of the things I love about Patreon. My podcast on there allows me to connect with a small group of my audience I talk about more of my personal life, share more of my inner dialogue and thoughts, and the people who want to get to know me more can get to know me more there. Now, keep in mind, when it comes to having people subscribe to you or take an interest in you, it requires you to be a little bit vulnerable and also share parts of your personality, which is what I recommend to anyone who is either starting a YouTube channel or trying to grow on social media. Don't be afraid to add a little bit of your own personality into whatever you're doing. The more you can add into this, the more likely you are to have people become interested not only in what you're doing, but also become interested in you. And if these people become interested in you, they're gonna want more access to you and they're gonna be more likely to subscribe to you on any of these social media platforms so they can get more access to you. Now that is one that you can think about for yourself. You can expand on it your own, but I did wanna include it on today's list because this is becoming more and more popular and more prevalent on social media. And I guarantee in like three, four years, there's gonna be people who are making their entire living simply off their social media subscriptions. So if you wanna be one of those people, start thinking about now how you can attract the audience that you want and provide them with something as you start growing your social media organically anyways. So that's the video, Passive Income for Photographers. Hope that one helped you out. I will catch y'all in the next one.